Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to fix stuttering and low FPS issue with Midnight Suns game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to skip the 2K launcher. So for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and under general over here you can see launch option. Now if the game is installed in C drive, then you can copy this command this location the location is provided in the video description copy this paste it over here if the game is installed in C drive you can use this location paste it over here and then launch the game it will skip the 2k launcher now if the game is installed in some other drive if the game is installed in D drive you can use this location So make a right click over here, select properties. So over here, if the game is installed in another drive, then you simply change the name of the drive. So if the game is installed in D drive, so in my case, the game is installed in F drive. So if the game is installed in D drive, you can change the letter over here as D. If the game is installed in E drive, you can change the letter over here E. So just change the drive over here and then launch the game. It will straight away launch the game. So over here you can see it skipped the launcher and it is launching the game without the launcher. So you can try this. Now if you don't want to use this method so in launch option if you don't want to use any kind of commands over here then you remove this you, there is another method you can go to the game installation folder make a right click select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder now use this exe file over here you can see midnight suns.exe make a double click and launch the game from here so over here you can see the game is launching without 2k launcher so i can see the game launching over here so you can see it's launching without the launcher so let me close this now now use only this exe file do not use exe file from this folder for me, when I'm launching the game from here using this exe, the game is launching without 2k launcher. Now, if you open Midnight Suns and then open Binaries Win64, if you launch using this exe, it will open 2k launcher. And for me, it's opening. So over here, you can see it's opening 2k launcher. So when I'm using this location, when I'm using this shipping exe, it's opening the 2k launcher this is happening for me but if i'm launching the game using the using this exe file this one the game is launching without the 2k launcher so you can either launch uh, the game from game installation folder using this exe file or you can use this command if if the game is installed in c drive you can copy and paste it in the launch option over here if the game is installed in C drive, you can use this command. Now, if the game is installed in another drive, maybe F drive or D drive or E drive, simply change the name of the drive over here and copy everything and paste it in the launch option and then launch the game. It will skip the 2K launcher. So this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So try it. The next step is to clear download cache in Steam. For this, go to Steam, click on Steam on the top, then click on settings. Now go to downloads and over here you will see the option which says clear download cache. Click on it. Once done, now try launching the game. Once this is done, restart Steam and then launch the game. This has worked for many players so it might work for you. Next step is to turn off ray tracing. Try DX11 and lower down graphics settings. So launch the game first. Now go to options. Now go to video, 
now over here select dx11 now try window full screen or you can try window mode lower down resolution so if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 to 1080p or you can even lower down more for resolution scaling set it to none now go to graphics and then if master quality is set to epic you can try high you can go for medium you can even try low and then check now scroll down now if depth of field is on turn it off turn off motion blur and lower down graphic settings and then check the performance now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card so type in graphic settings in window search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse go to the game installation folder if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 open the steam folder open the steam apps folder open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in e drive so open steam library steam apps common and then open the game folder select this exe file and then click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now click on browse once again open midnight suns folder binaries folder win64 select this exe file now click on add now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save and then launch the game next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 then click on start search now scroll down over here you can see this is the latest geforce game ready driver so install this geforce game ready driver right now the driver version is 526 period 98 this is the latest one right now so whichever is latest click on get download and then again click on download now now let the download complete once the download is complete run the exe file then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next then again put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on next and let the installation complete now once the installation is complete make sure that you restart your computer now the next step is to run the game as an administrator so for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files make a right click on midnight suns exe file and then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here then click on apply click on ok now make a double click over here and try launching the game from the game installation folder you can also open midnight suns folder open binaries win64 make a right click over here select properties go to compatibility and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok now launch the game still you are facing the problem then update windows this is important so open windows settings go to update and security click on check for update and once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to verify the game files for this make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to disable steam overlay for this make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close discord if you have ge force experience running close ge force experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner running close msi afterburner 
if you have revert tuner running close revert tuner so close all the overclocking application and then launch the game next step is to unplug controller or gamepad usb dongle now if you are using the controller you can first of all unplug the controller and then launch the game and then you can plug in the controller once again also try launching the game on single monitor unplug all the usb devices which you are not using so if you have these devices connected disconnected also if you have these software running close these software so make sure only the game and the steam is running rest close everything including all the browsers also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the stuttering and low fps issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel